All right, guys. So today's video, we're gonna check out another pair of True Wireless earbuds that definitely falls into that insane value category. The pair that we're gonna check out are the Vodami Solo Pods. And to start with, the price on these do retail for 69 bucks, but right now on Amazon, they're on sale, and there's a coupon code that brings them all the way down to $29. And really what made these stand out throughout my testing was I kept noticing that no matter what genre that I switched between and anything that I tested them on, they sounded very familiar to one of my favorite pair of earbuds. And we're gonna talk about that once we get into the sound. But some other features that these have is they do have the case that has the digital readout. And that way it's giving you an exact number of how much battery life is left on the case. But it's also giving you that meter readout uh, to let you know how much battery life is on the earbuds. And this is the same thing that we saw just on the Lava Buds that I tested this week. But one feature that these have that stood out from the Lava Beans is the case also doubles as a portable power bank because it has a 2000 milliamp battery inside the case and it also has a regular USB output. So if you're out and about and your phone starts to die or you just need to give it a little more juice, you can just plug it into this power bank and it will start charging your phone. So that is definitely an added bonus. Uh, some other things is it does have Bluetooth 5.0. Now it only has AAC and SBC playback, but as far as any kind of compression, I did not have any. I also did not have any lag when it came to movies or videos. And just like most pairs of earbuds, there is a slight lag when it comes to gaming. But outside of gaming, I could definitely see using these uh, for all types of media. Now, if you are looking for a pair to use outdoors or if you're just not wanting to use your more expensive pair outdoors, this again is another pair that comes in rated at IPX8. So it's completely waterproof. You don't have to worry if it rains. You don't have to worry if you sweat heavily. Even if you drop them into water, this pair is going to be fine. Now, just like the lava beans that we tested, this pair also comes with plenty of ear tips. In fact, it comes with six sets of silicone ear tips, and it also has two different styles. It has your regular silicone ear tip, but it also has the double flange design, uh, and both designs are giving you different sound signatures. Now, I just prefer the normal silicone ear tips, uh, it just kind of fit the sound signature that I like. But again, I do like earbuds coming with these options, especially when they don't have an app for you to be able to EQ these. And this pair also comes with two sets of wing tips, which just makes this a pair that easily stays in your ears. So again, if you're looking to use these while running or out at the gym, uh, you don't have to worry about these earbuds moving around. And then as far as the charging cable, it does come with a USB-C cable, which you are gonna have to use because again, just like other budget earbuds, these do not have Qi wireless charging. But speaking of the charging, although the battery life is not very impressive on the earbud itself because you can only get around five hours, with the charging case, you can get around 100 hours total. And this goes back to it having that 2000 milliamp battery. 100 hours just means that you're not gonna have to charge the case very often anyway. So it's not that big a deal that you have to plug it in with a USB-C cable. And the five hours on the earbuds itself, most people don't listen to their earbuds more than five hours at a time anyway. So for most people, this is gonna be okay. But if you do happen to pick your earbuds up and they are dead, this pair does have fast charging. So a 10 minute charge will get you an hour and a half worth of use. So that always comes in handy if you are somebody that forgets to always keep your earbuds charged. And then as far as looking at the case and the earbuds themselves, because this case does have a larger battery, it is a slightly larger case. Uh, you can see on the top, it has that digital readout that we talked about. And then around on the front, it has a flap that is covering the charging ports. Now, I'm not a huge fan of cases having these flaps. I just feel like it kind of gets in the way. Uh, it is something I usually just take off, so at least that option is there. But it's covering up your USB-C input and also that USB output. So, you know, it just kind of keeps it looking uniform. But if you don't care how the case looks, just pull that flap off and you're good to go. But moving over to looking at the earbuds, 
I actually like the design of these. I, I thought at first it looked kind of generic, but if you look closer, uh, the earbuds have a textured ring around on the outside uh, because inside of that ring is where your touch controls are located. And although it has touch controls, sadly, it doesn't give you control over everything. It does give you your play, it gives you your pause, your ability to skip your tracks forward, go backwards, you can summon your smart assistant, but this is another one of those pairs that has left out volume control. Now, some people People don't seem to have as big an issue with this as I do uh, because you can summon your smart assistant and tell it to turn the volume up or down or you can just pull out your phone and do that but again I just prefer to have all of my controls right there on the earbuds and then for you guys that do like to use your earbuds for phone calls I think the mics on these are just average at best I mean there's nothing special about them uh, I did feel like it picked up my voice fine and I think that it did a pretty decent job of blocking out my surroundings but you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here so here is a mic test using the solo pods again it's really nothing special but I still feel like you can hear my voice very well uh, I do definitely feel like it sounds digital, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test for the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound, because remember earlier I said it sounded a lot like one of my favorite pair of earbuds? This pair has a very Sony-like sound signature. In fact, it's using six millimeter drivers, which are the same size drivers that the XM4s are using, but this pair sounds a lot like the WF-1000 XM3s. And the reason I say that is it has a lot of characteristics of the XM4s, but it has a little bit more punch in the low end, which leans them being a little bit more like the XM3s. So sound signature wise, you are getting a very dynamic sound. Uh, the treble is nice and bright. Now it's not bright to that point where it has this really harsh sound to it, but it is very clean and detailed. Uh, the mids are just pushed slightly forward enough so that when that low end is kicking, it doesn't get pushed back. So the mids never sound recessed. I could always hear vocalists, uh, no matter what genre I was listening to, which again is a huge plus because a lot of earbuds, once you switch over into metal or anything where there's just a lot going on, vocalists just get pushed further and further back. And that's not the case with this pair. And then the bass on these is definitely going to please most bass heads. Uh, it really has a nice punch to it. Uh, it does not affect the rest of the sound. So this isn't one of those that has a warmer sound. It still has that bright, clean sound. But the bass is one of those that can hit you in the face. Uh, it even lets it kind of resonate a little bit. So it kind of resembles a subwoofer. So it's not just a clean, tight punch. Uh, it's just a very fun earbud to listen to. And again, it sounds like a Sony pair of earbuds uh, whenever you go in Sony's app and switch it over into that excited EQ setting. So that right there just checked all the boxes for me. And then on top of that, uh, just like the Sony's, the sound stage and the sound imaging had this nice airy sound to it because although it has this really punchy bass, it does have some nice separation to it. Uh, so it sounds like you're in a very open environment. And with this pair, you have no issue with being able to tell where sounds are coming from or feeling that they're distant and separated from all other instruments. So my overall opinion on this pair is, yes, you are going to be giving up Qi wireless charging and you do have to live with the fact that they didn't put volume control on this pair. But for $29, to get a Sony sound signature in a pair of earbuds that's completely waterproof, uh, that comes in a case that doubles as a power bank, makes this an absolute no-brainer as far as recommending them to anybody. Uh, this sound signature sounds great with pretty much any genre that you throw at it, and it's just a very fun earbud to listen to. So guys, that wraps up my video on the Vodami Solo Pods. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.